Christy Fajardo in Ventura on those wild waves. Christy. Yeah, and this was no ordinary rogue wave. In fact, Ventura County Fire is still assessing the damage. Take a look here behind me. Several businesses were flooded. So were homes. This hotel, though, got the worst of it. In fact, if we pan that way, you can see what it used to look like. There was actually glass barricades there. They're all gone on this side of the hotel. And the water actually came over the wall and crashed through those hotel rooms. And there were people inside at the time. Ventura County Fire says in all about eight people were injured. Luckily, no one was hurt seriously, but even a lifeguard had to be rescued. No. Neighbors try to outrun a monster wave as water gobbles up sand dunes and fills the road. They had been on the beach despite the danger because of this man, the one wearing a wetsuit. Just minutes earlier, the lifeguard had been caught up in the tide after trying to rescue a surfer. Thank you, God. He crawled up and, you know, we told him you're alive and you made it. Neighbor Kim Lamberg shared this video of the man finally on the shore near Dover. They don't know where she's at. Or she she and other neighbors had seen his yellow helmet bobbing in the surf and had called 911. They had just gotten him out when they were hit by a wave. The biggest wave of the day came in and caught all of us off guard because we weren't paying attention to the ocean anymore. We were about a human. So anyways, it was really heavy. We left. We evacuated. It may have been the same set that caused all of this damage at Inn on the Beach on Seaward. Firefighter video shows the aftermath. One swell was so powerful, it pushed a tree and water right through protective glass. Maintain his three to four foot depth until it hit this ball and bounced over. From Sky Fox, you can see the extent of the damage. Flooded streets, flooded homes, even cars were swept up in the surf. And as crews clean up the mud and move the debris, firefighters brace for more and have this warning. Stay away for your own safety because these waves still are pretty high and can impact you without you if you're not paying attention. And Ventura County Fire says the beaches are still closed. And take a look here behind me. You can see how far in the water went. They're still cleaning up the mess. And firefighters are planning to have more firefighters beefing up staffing tonight because there's still a high surf advisory in place for the next two days. So they're very concerned about what could happen. In the meantime, as for that lifeguard, we are told that he went in near the pier to rescue a surfer. At some point, the two got separated, but luckily both were rescued and we're told both are okay. Live in Ventura, I'm Chrissy Pajardo. Let's send it back to you. We are relieved to hear that. Cannot believe the size of those waves. Okay, Christy, and the power. Thanks so much. Of course, high surf up to about 20 feet. Because of that, there is a high surf warning still in effect until Saturday for this area. In particular, this west-facing portion of Ventura County coastline from Ventura Pier down to Ventura Harbor with a second swell coming up the first half of this weekend. There's that high surf warning. Elia Caballero with KCAL News, and we are here at Emma Wood State Beach on a road that is in and out of flooded conditions. And this is the result of the high swell. Lots of debris. We see cars trying their best to come in. Roadways trying to be cleaned up as best and as quickly as possible by Caltrans. You can see that right there. And cars, again, trying their best to really navigate their way out of this beach before it is closed. You can clearly see that the water has brought in debris. We've seen waves that are easily more than 12 to 15 feet high hitting the piers that are, of course, closed. But check out this road that, again, is in the process of being cleared and eventually will be closed down. There are parts like over there where you see that U-Haul truck there flooded. I'm going to try to get as close as possible so you can really see the effects of this swell. But there you have it. Lots of debris. Keep it here on KCAL all afternoon, all evening long as we continue to work to give you the very latest about what's going on here in Ventura.
Well, folks, we talked to recall those terrifying moments. You know, it's kind of a tale of two sides of the street, if you will. On the street we're on behind me, mostly clear, but lots of debris. And I mean clear of water. If we do kind of a 90, even a 180, we'll see a much different story here with the water not drained completely and the more we walk inside the deeper this water gets believe it or not it was much deeper earlier today here ankles definitely underwater as we swing over here you can see kind of the residual mark of that mud the water earlier maybe two hours ago was up to here now it's drained significantly and folks are just hoping that this clears out sooner rather than later uh oh It was a chaotic scene in Ventura. Everyone okay? Oh Anyone God. missing? As water came rushing into a neighborhood. Holy John Frizzell capturing the moment it all happened. This wave just came seemingly out of nowhere. Just this rush. I mean, you saw it. It was six, eight feet deep. But the damage didn't stop there. Down below, folks worked quickly to clear out the drains in anticipation of the next swell. I'm kind of just shaking. Um, just, I'm just trying to hold on to positive thoughts. And just a few miles away, more cleanup. And here at Emma Wood State Beach, it didn't take long for those big waves to crash on the shoreline and cause flooding, like you can see, sending debris everywhere. And now drivers are forced to navigate their way out. This is insane. Stephanie Massman says she has never seen anything quite like this. When I was up on the pier, I actually felt the pier shaking. Adding waves only seemed to be getting bigger by the minute. It doesn't even seem real. Several cars were damaged, garage doors ruined, and debris can be seen everywhere. And now people are left cleaning up the mess left behind and preparing for what's next. It's really, yeah, it's a lot. And we just moved a couple of steps away from where we were. You can clearly see parts of trees here. And the neighbor in this household said what kind of saved most of the entrance of their house were these compost bags that really kept the water out. But they wanted to be extra safe and put these sandbags outside, just outside of their driveway. Ventura PD tells us that when that big wave actually came through, lifeguards rushed in and took the people that were in the water out. So everyone there is safe. Reporting live in Ventura, Lucelia Caballero, KCAL News.